Hi everybody, this is Lara Jerka from Tools for Teachers by Lara J and the ESLA Odyssey. Today I'm here to tell you how to make paper people. I have a little woman and I can show you how to make a man. In my classroom, I like to use these paper people uh, when we're learning about famous African Americans during Black History Month or when we're learning about other famous people uh, such as when we're studying biographies. Um, these little paper people are a lot easier to make than you think. For each paper person, you need a sheet of paper, some scissors, and an imagination. So, first you want to take your piece of paper and fold it in half like a hot dog. Then you're going to take your hot dog and fold it in half and in half again to make quarters. When you open your piece of paper back out, you will have eight folded squares. I'm going to show you how to make a man first because it's a little bit easier. In order to make the man, first you're going to cut off one square on the bottom on each side. Okay, do you see what I've done? Now, save these pieces of paper because you're going to use them later. Now you've got the little doors that make up your person's chest. Okay, the next thing that you want to do is fold your piece of paper in half. And where the fold is, you want to cut out just a little bit of paper. When you open it back out, this will make legs. And that's pretty much the basis for your man. You want some construction paper to make head, hands, and legs. And you'll use the pieces that you cut off and just tape them to the back to make your sleeves. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make the woman. It's pretty much the same basic procedure, but there's a few steps that are a little bit different. Again, take your piece of paper, fold it in half like a hot dog, and then fold your hot dog in half, and in half once again. Again, when you open out your paper, you will have eight squares. This time, instead of cutting off the whole bottom half, of, or the whole bottom square, we're going to cut from this corner up to the corner, other corner of that square. And then we're going to cut off that part. Okay? Same for the other side. Cut from one corner, the bottom corner, up to the top corner of that square. And then cut off the extra. Again, save these because they'll be your sleeves later. Now, fold your flaps in, and you've got the basic body for your woman. And it looks like she's wearing a little skirt. Now again, you'll take these pieces of paper, and you'll just attach them to the back to make sleeves for your woman. And you can use tape or glue for that. Now, what I like to do is have students decorate their person, color the clothes, and then we write a paragraph inside about the person. And then these make a great bulletin board or classroom decoration. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at toolsforteachers.mrsj at gmail.com. That's tools, the number four, teachers.mrsj at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.